um, Collider did an article that was released a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago now, that ranked all the Scooby Doo shows like from like I guess what they saw as the worst to the best. And Mystery Incorporated got like the best spot, like the number one spot there. So that it's just incredible how much love Mystery Incorporated still gets after all this time. But is there any like moment that you saw from the show or that you worked on that stands out to you as being one that you're the most proud of? Hmm. Um I can't I can't really pick a moment. Um but I just like to comment on that article and that and the reason I think why um Mystery Incorporated was so good. And the reason was, well, first of all, Mitch, Mitch um Watson was, you know, just an incredible writer. Is if, if you look at his what he did after he's always winning Emmys, you know, and always winning awards for his shows. He just got one for um, a show he's doing over at Nick. Um, but he's, he was, you know, the inspiration. Tony and Tony Cervoni uh, was a great producer. And uh, I think, you know, he's, he's always been a good guy, you know, to work for. Um, but at the time, this is what I think, at the time that Scooby was being produced, there was a little bit of a dip in the in the animation business where a lot of shows were kind of ending or or done, and, and there was a lot of people that were very talented. Everybody was had been an art director before. We all congregated to Scooby during that time. Um, Jerry Richardson, Sue Mott, uh, Sana Hong, um, Dan Kral, I, I had art directed before, um, Derek Wyatt, you know, all these very, very talented people came together all at one time. And, uh, um, and it was just, a, and we were all kind of friends too. So we all had a lot of fun together. We all enjoyed our, each other's company. There's also you know, Chris Siriotis, who is an amazing. If you look him up, you might know who he is, but he's amazing. There's um, also um, uh, Bill Flores, who's also from Gravity Falls and other shows, and Uncle Grandpa. Um, so these, all these people were our friends, and they're all very talented. And we all just got just you know, just ended up together in, in a in a lightning in a bottle kind of situation. So um, it was all very good memories and good fun. And uh, we all enjoyed each other's company. We all got along. Um, and then there was, a, sorry, I want to mention Brian Smith and Melanie Pava. They, they did the color styling and uh, they're just great people. And they just really worked really hard <laughs> because those those color models were tough to do. And they just, I really always felt bad for them because they, there was so much to do. Um, anyways, they, yeah, all the people that came together, it's all about the people, you know, so um, the people and, and it's a team effort. Animation's a team effort. If you have a really good team, you're going to have a really good show. So that's... Um, why it was special. I like that. I love that phrase that you used, lightning in a bottle, because I think it's the best way to describe the series, like how everything almost had to be in place and the kind of hard work of the team, is just, it just shines forward so much. So definitely well-deserving of that number one spot.